Hello everybody, tis I the rumpled one. Full rip 9.0. The next big earthquake in the Pacific Northwest. Well, I'm not going to do a normal book review because this is a book if you live here in the Pacific Northwest, you definitely got to read it. In fact, uh, see today is uh, Tuesday, Sunday night while reading this book. There was a 7.0 earthquake, oh, I think it was somewhere about four miles or so off the coast of California, about, oh, 120 miles south of me. And in fact, some of my friends in Brookings, Oregon, actually uh, got shook a little bit. So, full rip 9.0 explains a lot about earthquakes. I learned a few things. Some things I didn't know about. But the one thing about this book, there is a theme that runs through it. And the theme is, is that there's almost always some arrogant, egotistical, you know what, in a position of power, making decisions following their own agenda and basically risking the lives of, you know, lots of people. It's the type of thing that makes it easy for me to choose to get mad and upset. Because it affects me. I live here in the Pacific Northwest. And I see it at some of the local meetings. We got these people that think they know better than others who are so close-minded when people bring up uh, other ideas, they get pushed aside. You know, they want to just go ahead with their idea, even though their idea is so full of logic holes, you know, it's like Swiss cheese. It's just ridiculous. The question is, how do we get, how do we get rid of these people? How do we get people with common sense? People who can see the big picture and think outside the box and not be worried about some political agenda or some greed or profit motive. Because that's what causes a lot of these problems. Somebody's got some pet project that they want rammed down everybody else's throats. And that even though it could put our lives at risk. You know, things like nuclear reactors. Personally, I got nothing against nuclear power. But if you're going to build it on a fault, um, let's, you might want to rethink that. Or when they're doing preparedness maps, like I was in town in Mayberry yesterday, and I was looking at the preparedness map for the tsunami evacuation. And I'm looking at where I'm parked and where it says on the map and the elevation it gives. And I get my smartphone out, I punch in the Compass app, and, you know, because of government regulations, the, uh, your phone only has accuracy up to about 30 feet because if it was any more accurate, the government's afraid that some terrorist could use it to guide a, a missile into a target. So they're only accurate to 30 feet. But if that's true, and I think I had 10 out of 10 satellites giving me that 30 foot accuracy. Well, where they said I was at 72 feet, I was actually, uh, according to the satellites, I was at minus 3. But let's add 30 to that. So I was about, oh, 27 feet above sea level, and they think I'm 72. I'm telling you, I wouldn't rely on these maps. I'd, I'd go out and take my own elevation readings. Because these maps, I think, where they have the assembly areas, they're going to get a lot of people killed. That's my own personal opinion. Based on what I've studied with my instruments. But this book, Full Rip 9.0, talks about earthquakes around the world. But focuses mainly on what's going on up here in the Pacific Northwest. If you're a prepper, it's a good idea to read this book. It talks about earthquake preparedness. Some things you'd be doing in general anyway. But I just find it very appalling that we've got people in positions of power. Now, a lot of times they're not elected. 
You know, they're hired some government agency. And they're just making a mess of things. On the other hand, there's some good people working in the government agencies that are look, trying to look out for us. But, you know, maybe their boss or some elected official is putting the squeeze on them, telling them to be quiet. Because, you know, you don't want to alert the public. Because you, you, I guess we're not smart enough to figure out things. Only they can figure them out. So they hide a lot of the data from us, a lot of the analysis. And then, of course, if somebody, you know, blows the whistle on it, they get fired. They get blackballed, blacklisted. They get shunned. It's the same old, same old. Something, that's something we've got to do as we the people. We've got to start putting people in office that are really going to look out for us. Not just these, I don't even know what to call them. They all look the same too. When you, if you, you ever see those pictures in city hall or in county building, the courthouse, they have the pictures of like those who they just all look alike. We got to get people that look different. That just might be the criteria. Just like I said on another video, don't vote for any Republicans. Don't vote for any Democrats. Get some 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 outsiders in. That's what we need. But anyway, like I said, it's not a normal book review, but Full Rip 9.0 by Sandy uh, Dalton or Doton. I definitely recommend it for preppers any, and for anybody living in the Pacific Northwest. You know, state of Washington, state of Oregon, Northern California.